let's take a look at this next problem and see what they would like us to do. It reads if f of x equals the sine square root of x, then what is f double prime of pi over 2? And so we're to try and find the second derivative to this function and replace its value with pi over 2. So what's step 1? Step 1, we, if we're going to find the second derivative, we first need to find the first derivative. So step number 1 is to find the first derivative. And let's rewrite our problem again. Uh, it's in originally in more of a traditional uh, method of showing the sine of x squared. Uh, let's show it this way, and that might bring to mind how we can take the derivative, and that is to use the chain rule. So we see an inside function and an outside function. So the derivative would be, uh, we'll take the 2 and multiply it times the inside function, 2 times the sine of x, and decrement the 2 to a 1, and then times the inside function derivative which is the cosine of x. So we have the first derivative then is equal to 2 sine x times cosine x. And the second step is to take the find the second derivative. So since we now have the first derivative we want to take the derivative of that and that will be the second derivative. Let's rewrite our first derivative again, and we'll just uh, accentuate the fact that sine x times cosine x is a product, just rewriting uh, what we have up above, just changing the parentheses. And now this brings to mind that we'll need to use the product rule, because we have a product. So we're going to use the product rule to take the to find the second derivative. Okay, so the second derivative, f double prime of x, is equal to two times, and we'll do the product rule inside of the parentheses here. First, which is the sine of x, times the derivative of the second factor and the der derivative of cosine of x is negative sine of x plus the second, what's the second factor, cosine of x times the derivative of the first factor and what's the derivative of sine x? cosine x and we have the second derivative. Uh, we can simplify this a little bit and let's do that. This is then equal to 2 and we have uh, negative sine squared of x sine x times a negative sine x is negative sine squared x plus the cosine squared of x. We have completed step number 2 found the second derivative. The third step then is to plug in and simplify. We're going to replace x with the value that we want to evaluate it at. And uh, so let's write down f double prime of, and what is that value? Let's go back up and take a look at the original problem. And you'll see that we're to replace the second derivative were to replace the x with pi over 2. Okay, so we want to plug in pi over 2. Any place that we have an x, we'll replace it with pi over 2. So f double prime of pi over 2 is equal to, and let's scroll down just a little bit so we can see what we have. It's 2 in parentheses and then negative sine squared of pi over 2 plus cosine squared and what do we replace that second x with? Also with 
pi over 2. So let's evaluate that. You may know what the sine of pi over 2 and what the cosine of pi over 2 is. In case you forget, you could always make a sketch of the sine function and the cosine function. And let's do that. Uh, they have a period of 2 pi. And so let's first, uh, let's mark where uh, 1 and negative 1 are. Let's first do the sine function, which looks something like this. The sine function goes through its entire period in 2 pi. This one is the sine function. And let's also show the cosine function. Cosine function starts up here at 1, dips down, crosses right here. It's at negative 1 at pi, and then it completes its cycle. And this is the uh, cosine function. And we would like to find what the value of both of these functions is at pi over 2. And first, let's just mark uh, the, this is the cosine function here. And so what's the value of the sine function? That's the one in blue here at pi over 2. It looks like it's at 1. And what's the value of the cosine function? Uh, we can see that it is 0. So we have then 2 times negative, and we decided that the sine function is uh, 1 there. So we have 1, and that's being squared plus, and the cosine function at pi over 2, we said, was right there at 0. So equals uh, 0 squared. And let's simplify that. We have negative 1 squared is negative 1, plus 0 is negative 1. So we have 2 times negative 1, and we have found that the value there is at negative 2. Let's recap what we did. We wanted to find a value of, of, the, of the second derivative. So first we needed to find the first derivative. We did that using the chain rule. And that gave us a product. So for to find the second derivative, we needed to use the product rule. And finally, after we had done that, we had gotten our second derivative, and then we just plugged in pi over 2 and found that the value that we got was negative 2 for the second derivative. And that's it. We'll see you.